Well, Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome to 2019. It's the first shave of the year. Well, not really. It's the first shave that I'm going to be filming this year. Uh, it's been, uh, what, about a week now since the last one? And I have been shaving normally, just nothing interesting, nothing you want to see. You don't want to see me shave. So for this first shave of 2019, I need to catch up on some backlog of, uh, of a couple of things that have been sent to me. And so uh, today I'm going to use a razor and a brush and a bowl. I know, I don't normally use bowls. Usually this is my bowl right here. But they sent me a bowl and a razor and some blades and it's Bigfoot Shaves. You may have seen it on uh, YouTube. There's some people that have reviewed them and they were kind enough to send me. Uh, there's a razor in here. There's some blades here. And in here was the, uh, was the bowl and the brush. And it's an actual badger brush, which I have soaking down here. There it is, a little wooden handled badger. Mmm, ooh. <laughs> Badgery. No, it really does smell musty. I don't know if you've ever smelled, I don't, you know, the badger brush that I was sent before um, was probably a little bit farther away from the end of the badger, if you know what I mean, the tail like the silver tip at the end. And this is, this one's a little closer to the, the business end of the badger. It's musky. <laughs> I just, I just started soaking. You probably, you need to use it for a while. So it's, I'm, I'll probably be giving this butt, uh, brush short shrift by using it, you know, straight out of the box. But, uh, that's what I'm going to do. I should use my, my fake one here, the, the synthetic, but I'm going to try the one they sent me, even though it does smell like the petting zoo. Um, not their fault. It's badger. Okay. So, Bigfoot Shaves, if you go to BigfootShaves.com, you can buy razors, you can buy razor blades. Uh, they have like three or four different kinds of razors. This one is the, oh, let's see, let's just open this, this cool little case, like a communicator case. Beam me up, oh, look with a mirror. Oh, you can see my, look at that. Oh, a little, a little view back into my medicine cabinet. So this is the razor that they sent me. It's a butterfly razor, a twist to open, not adjustable, but a twist to open razor in silver. They also have one that's like a three piece razor where you unscrew the head. Um, but this one you unscrew from the bottom and then it opens up like a butterfly. They also have a gold one if you're really, really fancy. So, and then, oh, the, here's the little bowl they sent me. A little metal bowl. It's a very light, it's kind of, I don't know if it's uh, aluminum made to look like stainless steel is very light so i assume it's probably aluminum but it's kind of nice and uh, i just took a shower and i got this badger brush soaking i'm trying to get any extra badger hairs off of it because it does shed see that that's not me that's not me that's the badger hold on let me let me rub my hands a little bit or rub the brush in my hands a little bit see if i can dislodge some more of those badger hairs and uh well, let's load up the uh, let's load up the razor, shall we? I haven't used this yet. I just now I took them out of the. It came in a little cardboard box, but I decided to you know it's not going to be like a full unboxing or anything. But here's the razor, and here's how it opens. See, here you go. It's got a decent uh, weight to it. You know, it doesn't feel flimsy. It feels good. Now the head seems a little like the mechanism. Doesn't sound as solid as say this, you know, Gillette fat boy. But this thing's, you know. Ooh, you hear that squeak? That's his voice. That's the fat boy's voice. <laughs> boy, this this year's starting off real weird. Um, okay, so here's the uh, here's the shiny. It will never be this shiny again, folks. And if I don't hold on to this this uh, razor and I send it on, well then. It once was shiny. And here's the blade. So it actually says Bigfoot Shaves on it. It's upside down. Bigfoot Shaves branded. It says it's Swedish, I think. Swedish blade. Anyway, place that sucker in there. And like I said, it's not adjustable, so one size fits all as far as however aggressive it might be. But uh, yeah, very pretty. And uh, let's see, let me put some water on my face and I'm going to shave with the Cella Crema de Barba that smells like almonds and black cherries. Mm. Yum! I've got some ice cream in the freezer that is almond flavored ice cream with, it's from Bluebell, Bluebell ice cream. All right, here we go. Here it is. 
and I'm gonna dig out. Like I said, I don't normally use a bowl, so I'm gonna use about that much. Stick it in the bottom of the bowl. Smear it down there in the bottom. And we're gonna see how this goes. You know, I don't have very very good luck with badger hair brushes, and especially a brand new one I've never tried. So let's try to lather it up, shall we? This will be a, a new foray into wet shaving for me. Because I don't normally do this. Let me get some good lather in there, get it off the edges, get it back in there. I kind of like this little silver bowl. How's everybody doing? How was your New Year's Eve? Did you do like I did and you were a responsible young man or young woman? You didn't do, go too crazy? Actually, we let the kids stay up till midnight and uh, they didn't have meltdowns. I was very proud of them. It was the first time they've ever done that. They're young kids, they're under 10, so you never know what you're gonna get with an under 10 year old staying up till midnight, but they handle themselves well, so maybe I'm not such a terrible parent after all, I don't know. Okay, this is making quite a mess, but that's what you're supposed to do. Got some hairs coming off. Got some hairs down the bottom. Let's get a nice creamy, uh, I think it's helping me. Uh, maybe I should always use uh, a bowl with these badger brushes instead of face lathering, which is my preference. Because I can face lather really easily with the synthetic one. But I always have troubles with that other one. So maybe I should try that next time. Use either, either too much or too little. And it's a little bit easier to control it when it's in a bowl. Hold on, let me. This is really shedding. Really. <laughs> it's kind of gross. All right. Let's try. I think I'm going to have to put some more water on my face. Hold on. Set that down. All right. Let's lather up, folks. Look at that. Oh, rich, creamy. Lather. Oh, God. Oh, it just broke down. Mm, I'm not sure about this brush, guys. This thing is really thin. Like, it's like splaying out a lot as I'm trying to... Do you see that? See how it's kind of like... It's almost like a bad paintbrush. Oh, and it stinks, man. It really... Oh. I'm not sure about this, guys. Oof. Oh. I feel like a badger just sat on my face. Hmm. I don't know. Is it me? Again, or is it this? I'm just not sure. Because I it was doing great in the bowl. It like was foaming up and everything. Oh my goodness. I'm starting over. I'm starting over, ladies and gentlemen. I'm washing my face off. Washing the hair off. There's more hair on my face now than when I started. And it's not my hair. It's badger. It's that dirty badger. And my neck, too. Hold on, guys. Maybe I'll come back to that brush another time and let it break in some. But for now, I'm going back to my synthetic. Oh, that stinks. Look, I know it's supposed to smell a little, you know, musky, but oh my goodness, that's, uh, that's too much for me. I can't do it. I can't do it, folks. Okay, starting over. <laughs> hey, Happy New Year. How's your New Year? How's it going? I hope this is not a, a portend of things to come. Oh no, please. Okay, here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to face lather. No more bowl lather. Uh, I, I felt, thought I was doing so well, you know? This stuff smells so good. Now see, the synthetic brush, I just, I can make it work more easily. I don't know what it is. It's just my style, I guess. Or maybe my face. But as I said before, it's a, a poor craftsman that blames his tools. There's a big hunk of badger hair. I hope this razor is good because it's going to be shaving my whiskers and the tail of some long dead animal. I assume they have to off the poor things to get their badger hair for the brushes. I don't know. I'm not looking into it. Okay. Ah, all right. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Badger hair brushes are not my friend. That one especially. It's, it's in the sink over here. I'm not going to... I'm looking at it askance. Thank you, Synthetic. I almost had to bring this guy back out. 
Making his first appearance in the new year, Barbasol. All right, here we go. The first pass with their blade. Huh. Now, the people at Bigfoot Shaves, they, they sent me, it's been a while now, I can't remember exactly how long it's been, but they asked me to try it and they sent it to me. And I was checking out their website and, and they have one subscriber on their YouTube channel and it says they're based out of New Jersey. And, but I couldn't find out much more about them. So I don't know if it's truly an American-based company or if it's uh, branded in America with products sent from overseas. I'm just not sure. Because some of the content on the website s almost seemed like English wasn't their first language when they were writing it, the copy. I don't know, I could be totally wrong. And please, if I am wrong, then correct me, guys. And I gotta say that this uh, this razor is extremely mild and it's, it's having a hard time even, you know, getting the shaving cream off my face. Can you see that? No, oh, it's like still, like I've gone over this, it's still leaving. Wow, the handle has some weight to it. I feel like the, the, the head is very lightweight and you can hear it. Like with my vintage razors or with the Rockwell, you don't get a lot of sound from the head of the razor. Yeah, this is really having a hard time. And I shaved yesterday, I shaved fairly late yesterday. I shaved like, you know, one o'clock in the afternoon yesterday, so it hadn't been that long. I don't have much growth going on here. But I hate to say it, guys. And I'm gonna hold off judgment till the end, but it's not, it's not feeling like my cup of tea. Bigfoot shaves. So, but I'm gonna give you an honest, just because you send me something doesn't mean I'm going to sugarcoat it and, you know, pretend that I like something that I don't. i got to be honest about it, and I, hopefully that's what you want. Let me readjust my towel. Yeah, so, New Year's Eve was fun. We had our little hippie parade. We had the ball drop in our neighborhood. And uh, the kids were good. I drank a little bit of, uh, a little bit of scotch and a tiny bit of champagne in the parade, straight out of the bottle, like a boss. <laughs> Is that like a boss? Is that what a boss does? I was popping bottles. I was popping bottles. All right, pass number two. Oh, let me put some more water on my face, hold on. Let me, I gotta tell you, that, that pass was not very productive. There is a lot going on here. I mean, a lot. So I think it may be too mild for me, that razor. But this Cella Shave Soap, mm. if you like the smell of amaretto or cherries, then you'll like this. Because it smells good. And it lathers really well as long as you're not using a uh, badger brush and your name is Sinatra Lennon. That's not my name, by the way. It's just... I'm the Bob Ross of shaving, but sometimes even my brushes let me down. Or is it me letting the brush down? The world may never know. All right, pass number two. Let's give it a second chance. The Bigfoot Shaves razor, it looks pretty, but it's not, not doing the job I want it to do necessarily. So I don't know if that's the blade or the razor itself. Maybe I should try this again, not necessarily make a video, but try it again with one of my uh, feather blades. Can you hear it? Can you hear the, and it's still, it's kind of streaking. You see that? Remember streaking in the 70s? People run around naked across, you know, sporting events and uh, down the street. <laughs> my little brother and I, when we were little kids in the early 70s, we used to go streaking around the house, you know, three, four years old. I remember doing that. <laughs> Mom, we're streaking. Now I do that, I get arrested. Not that I've been arrested for it. They never caught me once. This is strange. It's it's making the little lines of the of the guard. See the little lines on there? It's leaving those lines. And I'm, I'm I'm changing the angle to try to make sure that the blade is connecting well with my whiskers, but it's still hmm. 
as the kids say, I'm not feeling it. Is that what the kids say? As I used to say when I was a kid, this is bogus, dude. Totally not tubular. You guys remember that? Totally tubular. <laughs> huh. Well, I don't want to start the year off on a, on a low note, but hey, there's only one way to go from here. Up. Right? Up, up, up. I got a care package uh, from Thailand that I'll be opening soon. I haven't opened it yet. Friend of the channel. And we'll be discussing that and see what's in there. I still need to get my hands on like a, uh, a Mula razor or a Merker or one of those German made ones that everybody, all the real shavers, you know, the real shavers talk about that I've never tried. Because I don't consider myself like a real shaver. I just shave with things that I have. <laughs> Does that make sense? Is that weird? Hmm. All right. Man, there's a lot of stubble going on here. Even in places where there normally shouldn't be, like on my lip. <sighs> this says Bigfoot shaves, but it couldn't shave a Bigfoot. That's for sure. I'm a hairy guy, but... Hmm. I'm going to have to say, uh, for the price, because this is, I think this is $39, 30, yeah, the twist to open is $39, the uh, three-piece is $36, and the gold one I didn't, I don't remember, if this is $40, it's not worth it. I cannot give this a pass. I can't give it a recommendation, at least for me. Maybe, maybe it's a combination of things. Now, the, the brush, maybe it needs to be broken in, it needs to be used more, it needs to be less badgery. That could come with time. Uh, maybe the razor blades are uh, not quite as sharp as I'm used to since I always use the feather. Uh, maybe this is a little too, not aggressive enough for me, I'm not sure. I, I kinda wanna go back over my whole face with the Rockwell just to, f are you in for that? It's been kind of a long video, 17 minutes? Maybe I should cut it short. Nah, let's do it. Let's do it quick. Let's see how fast I can clean my, myself up. A little bit more water on the brush. Water on my face. Speed. Shaving. Well, I will give it this much. I didn't get any nicks. Probably because the blade was barely touching my face. But there were no nicks. All right. Rockwell to the rescue. I'm going to go sideways. Lightly, even though I'm going swiftly. Can you hear that? You can still hear all the whiskers on there. This is a heavy weight, nicely engineered razor. And if you haven't had one, if you haven't tried one, I highly recommend it. This is my go-to everyday shaver, as you can tell. It's getting grungier than my old grungy fat boy. But I've been, uh, reading uh, the comments and enjoying people's experiences that are just getting into wet shaving and shaving with safety razors. Some people have been lucky enough to uh, get some cool vintage ones off eBay. And I, su I suggest you go uh, to your antique stores in your local area and find, you know, inexpensive vintage razors and try them out if you've never done it. And then probably, instead of something like the Bigfoot Shave Razor, I'd probably go with one of the German ones, even though I haven't used it myself. The Germans don't make a bad razor, I'm sure. They're good at engineering. Precise. I'm of German descent, so, uh, I don't know. <laughs> From, you know, like 150 years ago, when they came to Texas. But, man, there's so much Whiskers left after that first razor. Let me get under the nose here. A couple of little things here. Here. Talk amongst yourselves, won't you? <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just shaving. Hey, what are you doing? I'm trying to shave in here. What are you staring at me for? Okay. All right, that's it. Cold water on the face. Mm. I know how to salvage this shave. Not that it was a failure. Not that it was an epic fail. Hmm. But I know how to salvage it. 
with the aftershave that everyone knows and loves. Hold on, let me get it down here. I didn't have it prepared. Osage rub. Osage rub, take me away. What was that Calgon? Sorry, I'm bringing up old commercials from the 80s. Nobody remembers. Oh. It's like putting on a, putting on a, like an old pair of pants, like in a warm blanket, like your, your trusty old boots, like that favorite jacket right at the end. Makes you feel all safe and secure. Thank you, Osage Rub. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, all right. All right, let's call it a day, shall we? Oh my goodness. Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, join me again soon, within the week. I'll make another one. Maybe it'll just be like a normal shave. I don't even know. If you have any suggestions or anything, any questions, anything you want to ask me, uh, anything you might want to see, go ahead and leave a comment. I appreciate and I listen to all of them. Um, I, I can't give Bigfoot Shaves Club. Actually, they do have a club. It does say subscribe so they can like send you blades, but I can't necessarily uh, recommend it. But thank you for the opportunity, Bigfoot Shaves. I'll be passing this stuff on when I eventually make that video where I lay it all out and then have you guys pick it. I know there's a couple people already that I'm sending a couple things to. I need to get your address because YouTube lost it when they lost all their messaging. Anyway, that's it. Happy New Year. See you soon. Happy shaving. Thanks for joining me. See ya.